Today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough on Mission 1. This is going to be on Galaxy Difficulty because Universe Difficulty, the AI does not seem to be competent enough to know when to dodge and when to strike. We're going to be taking a slight detour at the start. I'm going to be showing you what looks like to be one of the secrets of uh, Bunny Location. Also, there's a couple of chest locations. Thanks for that. So, let's see exactly. First, we're going to equip these items. So, Raymond is our standard attack dude. So, we're going to give him the plus 10 attack. And then we'll also give him the damage to undead because there's a bunch of undead over here he uses intelligence to attack so we'll give him the intelligence and then just to split it a little bit we will give her the divinity one. Oh wait that's humans and demons you know what we'll give her humans and demons that's fine okay so now we actually want to go backwards versus forward. We are approaching the Medum ruins. If we follow the pillars to the west, it should come into view. Can you tell our direction by reading the stars? Nah, don't worry. I got this. Hmm? Oh, very well. There's a little secret path somewhere over here we're going to find. You might get access to this later in the game too. I just want to see if there's a chest over there. It'll actually show you chest locations on your map too. So if you pass a chest, it's not going to show you them right away. But if you do go near a chest and then you don't actually collect the chest, next time you open your map, it will tell you that there was a chest there that you missed. So there is a chest right off here to the right. Get grab this quick. So you want to keep an eye on your AP. AP lets you know how many times you can strike. That amount does seem to go up fairly quickly, so it's only low initially in the game. And that's a little magical item that lets us do two wind blades. You also get a bunch of little heals over here. We'll double check for chest locations in a second. We have Stay you can also change your character by hitting up and down on the repair. You want to switch up the character you're using. I'm going to fuck with Raymond a little bit. The flying dude is a little bit hard to get behind, but when you do get behind the enemy, generally you can do massive damage. Well, that's over with. It also limits your chance for getting hit.
So as you can see, we did miss one chest up here. We'll come back and we'll grab that. First, we're trying to find... There's a hidden bunny somewhere over here, too. We're gonna go as far as away as possible from the marker. Wait, is that it right there? There it is, okay. So the way that you trap this bunny is you gotta get him like trapped up against something. And then you just hit Y. I'm not sure yet what collecting them all will do, but it's definitely one of the hidden items in this game, so should come down here first and grab that. And we do have our chest somewhere up in the middle. I know there's another chest. Uh, I forget if we grabbed it somewhere in the middle over here. Definitely spend like five minutes down in this area running around and searching because there is a couple of chests there's all those uh heals and items that we grabbed there's not that many early in the game but if you come down here there's a bunch of them plus even if you if you just follow the standard story mission and you never really go off path You'd only get like four levels anyway, and you get a couple just by doing this. I like Outrage. Outrage is pretty nice to start, so I'm gonna build towards that. I have a video up in about a week for best skill tree. What are the best ones? I'm gonna be building towards her XP. Even though that limits her a little bit, it gives every character 135% XP. And getting more perks early seems really ideal. Gonna give him a little attack. Oh yeah, I can't do that yet. I'll give that to him on the next level and then I'll give him the health regen. Alright, so we're somewhere in the middle. We'll take a quick look over here, build back towards the middle, and then build, go on the main path. The main reason for coming over here is the bunny, but you do get several items and early XP as well. Those big toad dudes are worth a good amount of early XP. Let's just see, how many healing items did we acquire already? We already have eight blueberries. That is a ton of early blueberries. Um, that is recovers from, yeah, and recovers 30% HP. That is actually pretty big, um, early. I'm just gonna take another quick look right down the middle, because there was a chest. I don't know if we grabbed that one was right about here. But it's not on the map right now, so I have to assume that we already grabbed this one. Alright, so we'll go back on the main path. But there is a chest somewhere in the middle in this section, if I did not grab that one already in the video. Don't recall exactly what was in it, probably just like some standard low grade early item. And there is still that one chest up there too. Enemies dead ahead. Yeah. 
So as you can see, as you go far away from enemies, they do respawn whether you go to a rest point or not. So we're going to get up out of here. Now you have to do a little bit of hopping to get back up, but it's pretty easy. Just spam A. Uh, as you can see, even low level difficulty, he's already dead. Now that this is low, it's standard, but yeah, same thing. Luckily, there is a rest just up ahead. It's been a while since I've swung a sword around, but I guess I still got it. My muscles are gonna be good to be tomorrow. So the forest is full of monsters at night, huh? Because I'm lucky to have met some people out here, even if they are a little. So you can hit this campfire right before you go down. About time for a rest. I did check the path on the right. There was nothing there. I do have this chest over here. And we should have another chest by coming over here to the left. They lead to the entrance of the ruins. There we go. You can also jump down from here as well. Double back to the middle, can get all these items. Destroy all those objects because they give you items. No, maybe not these three. Stairs look a little dangerous. Even if we did try to climb them, they'd probably give way. We should go around. The west side looks scalable, does it not? You got chest over here too. I'm good. So long as whatever we just saw doesn't kill its ugly face. Over this area. Rarely should it appear at all. Well, that is Two 
have some killer moves. Pretty much to fight monsters too, by the look of them. Is that how it is for everyone in this game? Yes. Well, more or less. Uh, whoa. Also got one more down here. And that should be all the ones for progressing to the next section. Remember, you can double check your map and see if you went close to any chest and did not collect it. You can also see the location of the rest points. So if you get wounded, you can go back and you can rest up. So, this is Medum, huh? It's friggin' massive. Ancient and powerful Osirian Semiomancers once called these hallowed halls home. As written in the old texts. Okay, didn't get all of that, but I'll save the Q&A for later. I can see why they're called ruins. It doesn't look like we can get through. Long has it been since this place received visitors. Traversal so right here, we do have our next rest spot. Good thing I've got you two here to show me the way. Though we are familiar with the area, this is our first time actually being here. Tread carefully. About time for a rest. There's no real downside to resting. Enemies respawn regardless. So as you can see, well, can't see now, but when you are running around, you do regen uh, AP slower, not at all. I uh, see, I think it's not at all, but... Need to look at that once more. We do also have a Chimera battle with a nice little chunk of XP. If you really want, you can fight him two or three times for an earlier uh, level. He's off to the left somewhere. Just make sure... Oh, no, this is one we did not go through. I think this one leads to the Chimera. And also gives us another item. Yeah, so we should be able to get up right here. Just keep going around and flanking him from the back, he's real easy. Gives a nice little chunk of XP early. Now when you unlock new moves, you gotta go into your chain combos and select them at some point. That way you can actually use them. So right now if we hit X, the first move we do is Bell Ringer. We hit X again, then it does Quick Ripper. Then hit X again, it does Boulder Crush, and you can switch that up. Then if we hold X, it does Outrage, and then you have your Y. Hitting Y does Boulder Crush, and hitting B does Boulder Crush. Right now for him, because we don't have that many moves. And we're going to give him another move as well. So he has a power move. And we'll give him HP regen. 
And you have to equip it on even the characters that you have being controlled by the AI or they won't use it. And we'll start getting more XP. Give her a little additional defense because we are taking away from her defense. I don't believe there is a chest over here, it's just the little mini mini boss. This is just double check and see if we missed any chests. Does not look to be the case besides that might be a chest all the way over there. So as you can see I did miss one, uh, you can go back and grab it. Pretty sure... I forget what the exact chest icon looks like. First time you get a chest though, you can just not pick it up and look at your map to see exactly what it is. All the early chests are pretty basic uh, items. Nothing game breaking in them. Sweet. So we're going to proceed forward. I'm just going to dub. Oh, wait. Actually, never mind. That's the location we're supposed to be going. That's not a chest, that's just mission objective. I didn't think I missed anything. So when you got an enemy aggroed on you, well, you can't show it right there. But you can just bait them into an attack and then finish them off. So like right here, we'll just bait him, then we'll strike. When they're aggroed on another player, just walk right behind them. Over with. Using that strategy works very, very well. You can't go off to the sides over here at all. I tried making the jump down there. It just freezes you out. Uh, the, it won't let you jump there. Also, if you notice, there was an area that looks like you can go really high up. I couldn't figure it out. I don't think it's even possible yet. I think that's you come back here later and you can do it. Because there's nothing that even looks close to uh, something that would allow you to get that high. Finally made it to the ruins. Now let's head inside. So this battle, you gain a new ability by holding RB and then hitting RB again, releasing it. Definitely uh, abuse it. Try to get them all grouped up and then use it. Okay, so for this battle, all you want to do is target the head and use your ability. When he does that move, you're able to go right in and strike. Just back up. He only really has two main moves. All you gotta do is wait for him to do one and then strike. It's that easy. Just 
his backup every time he does one because he can do a flame move that has a border, but should be one hit right now. Finish him off. And uh, that is mission one and some basic tactics as well as the first mini money location. I hope that helped.